Hello! It is Justice, and today we are going to be kind of doing a flip through, talk through of what I've done with my Hobonichi so far. I used to love watching these videos from like Allie Brown and Amy Tangerine, so I kind of wanted to do myself. So, first we have my Hobonichi. I'm gonna skip a few pages into the month. Here's what I have for December. I kind of went through my sticker packs and found some holiday appropriate stickers that I can't really use for a whole other year, and so we have these. This is what my January looks like. And you kind of see here, I have different little stickers here. I am really enjoying the Traveler's Company sticker packs, the ones with the little icons. I have very, very many of them because that's kind of how life goes whenever you buy a lot of their sets each year. And I really like, like these stickers that comes with them. And that also means I have multiple pages of their icon stickers. So I've been using these to kind of mark things that happen. So the little snap board, I'm not quite sure what they're called. I've been using for my YouTube video post dates. Um, a little ship to just show that I'm meeting with a friend. The little business bag showing that I'm starting my on-call shift. I have a little fork and knife here because Girl Scouts are supposedly starting to sell cookies on this day. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the rest of the months because I don't really have anything there yet. And then we go into my first week of color blocking. This is the week of December 28th through January the 3rd. I have spoken about it a few times in that I love how this color blocking looks. I've been using this little side here to do grocery lists. Um, this week, I, I guess I'd already planned it, so I had little bullet points of things that happened rather than my to-dos, but usually that goes here. And then my color code, so that I can kind of remind myself for colors that I don't remember what are, or kind of categorize things better and have a reference, a key, if you will. This spot here, I messed up, <laughs> like the very first week I messed up, and so I used a big old whiteout, but my whiteout tape also messed up and it like globbed everywhere, and so I had to then cover that with washi tape, and so that will always be my very first week possible chance to mess up, and I did, so here we go. And then at the bottom of each day, I do write out my calories for the day so that I can get a weekly average. It's, it's just one of my things. And so in this week, you can see that I did do more of a groceries and things to do. I broke down little steps here. We are in the process still of fixing one of our sinks in a half bath. And so I had to kind of make it easier for myself and make it smaller and more achievable, like buy this thing buy another thing, buy this thing, take it apart, put this thing in, put this thing in to make it a little bit better for myself. You also see here, I'm starting to get some smearing. And so this is the last week that I actually color block like this. As beautiful as it is, it was not the best. And so we go into this week where I've swapped it up and started color coding from the sidebars. You can see on my days off, it is definitely more filled just because on my days off, I'm actually like, okay, while I'm cooking now, I'm going to Ace Hardware now, I'm doing this now, we're watching a movie. So I kind of have a whole lot more going on. I also decided this week that I would start decorating with washi stickers and things. And so I got, at the end of the week, my sticker packs out and started just filling up some dead space. And I really like this. This is the current week. So groceries, tasks, same old, same old. This day is different, so I had to write in italics because I had originally planned out my work day, but I had to end up trading shifts because I had something happening in my personal life, and so I had to switch up my shifts here. And I have not planned for next week yet. So on to the daily pages. 
This, I think I'm going to write down kind of trademark, no, monumental things that happened in January. I'm not really sure the word that I'm looking for here, but big things that have happened in the month, they're gonna go here. So first day, I started off trying to time block on my dailies as well. So I just did a way more simplified version of what I already do in my weeklies. Uh, my to-do list, what I ate in the day, and then filling in with whatever I want. So I had the weather, I had written the date in Chinese, talking about working from home. We follow the same pattern here. I had some vocabulary words. And then I also wrote about dinner. I also cooked Brussels sprouts and chicken thighs, but the only thing that I wanted to eat was bread. So hell, why not? The Brussels sprouts went untouched. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> and then on the third, these days did not originally have stickers, by the way. I went ahead and added them in after the fact. It was around this day that that happened. Um, this day I majorly messed up. I can't even remember what I did, but I ended up having to cover it with some origami paper washi and some stickers because I am not going to look at a page for a whole year and just be reminded of a mistake, and so I went to cover it with something pretty. So after that point, I was kind of going through it wondering like, oh, well, I've messed it up, I've messed it all up, we're five days into the year and I have to change what I wanted. So I just went ahead and decided that for the whole book I'm going to decorate some. Maybe not the super chunkiest, but I'm going to do some. On this one, I did a grocery order, and so I wrote down everything I ordered. And here I start to put in sprocket photos. I watched Soul, and me and Danny were starting to watch the Star Wars movies, and so you're going to see different Star Wars movie posters pop up here and there. And not really... Things don't really change a whole lot on my day-to-days. I'll change up the format, change up how I decorate it, maybe what I write, but generally they do all follow the same patterns. This one was a bit different. I decided to try out painting with my fountain pen ink mixed with water and kind of see how that goes. It flattened out really well. To start out with, this was very wrinkly and not flat at all, which made me be like, okay, never again. This is not happening again. But. It's been a few days and it's gotten nice and flat, so I think I may experiment with this over more pages because I really like how this feels. It does bleed through just a little bit to the next page though, so I evened it out by doing little blobs of color so that it didn't look as apparent. Another day where I completely messed up. I am. Um, what I did here though, I do remember because it was only a few days ago, I was writing down my meals, but I was writing down what I ate like three days ago, and so I was like, well that's gonna bother me in my documenting brain. So I covered it up with a piece of my letter paper, cut out a part of the old Hobonichi I have for like 2019 or something, removed the date, and then used that paper. And then for the 21st and 22nd, I haven't actually bulked them out yet. So that's kind of how I do things. If I'm running behind, which I especially am this week because I'm going through it, I will just go ahead and fill these in later. As long as I have what I ate down, I can catch up later because I could just use this as journal space, list space. I could just use it for decorating. Doesn't matter. The biggest thing for me is my to-dos if they are super important, which nothing really on these two days and then my meals, and so these are down there. It's just one of my neurotic things, I have to have it. There were periods of time where I kind of didn't include that, and it was fine, but I just keep going back to it. I've been doing it for years and years and years now. And then in the back, I'm not gonna flip it over, but I have like some planning ideas, hopefully for videos, because I'm trying to get on that this year. And then, 
Randazzo's Bakery. I don't think I've really filled out much more. No, I haven't. And so that's kind of where we are right now. This is one of my favorite spreads that I've done just because of this ink. And then the other one that I love a lot is the one where I originally messed up, this one. I think that this is darling. So let me know how you guys feel. I hope that you enjoyed kind of catching up with me and seeing what my first few weeks of January looked like in my planner. And let me know, would you like me to do this on a weekly basis? I think that that would be fun, but just let me know. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye now.